Hello everyone, my name is Joyce and I work for Jarrell Training. What I'd like to do today is just to show you a very quick tip which will save you masses of time. Something called autofill. Okay, so I'll just show you on the screen now what, what I mean by autofill. Okay, so what I'm going to do in this first cell is I'm going to type in a month of the year. And I'm going to use my tick there to tick it in. And then what I need to do is to go to the bottom right hand side of the cell and when I move my mouse over that I get a little black cross. I'm going to left click and I'm going to pull down. And hey, there's the magic, it gives me the months of the year. Let's try that again with days of the week. In this cell I'm going to type <laughs> Monday hopefully. And again I'm going to fill down and it gives me the other days of the week. Now, this is where it gets a little bit special in that I can use this spark tag here. If I wanted just Monday all the way down, then I could use copy cells like that. Or I might just, because I work Monday to Friday, just take the weekdays rather than Monday through to Sunday. And there we have Monday through to Friday and then it starts again at Monday. Let me just show you one more thing. I'm going to give you a date this time. So I'm going to put in 1st of the 4th, 2012. I'm going to fill that down. And what it does is gives me all the other days of the month if I went far enough down. And again, it's got a little smart tag here, which will allow me to either copy the cells or I could fill weekdays. There we go, we've got 1st um, through to the 6th and then it misses out the 7th and the 8th. I can also do fill months. Now that's a useful one where it gives me the first of every month, or I could do fill years, which gives me the first of the fourth, 2012, 2013, and so on. So, very easy, very quick, and will save you an enormous amount of time once you start using it. That's all for now, thanks.